Oh, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. Thank you for letting me read for you. If Scorpio is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Remember to hit the like button, leave a comment. Consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Scorpio, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. Empress energy. I mean, come on. Can't do any better than that for the very first card. Um, you are, um, you're a healer. Um, I think that you are, you're healing yourself. I think maybe you're even healing other people. I feel that you have this ability to um, kind of make everything better just by your mere presence. You know, um, you've got this really, um, you've got this, this powerful ability to, to nurture things, to care for things, to sort of, um, it's kind of like you just, you, you touch uh, a seed and it, uh, it sprouts and grows and blossoms and bears fruit. You know, you have a really, uh, a really strong influence on everything in your life right now. Whether it, maybe we're talking business stuff, uh, school stuff, family stuff, friends. Whatever you get involved with seems like it tends to grow really fast and it bears delicious fruit. Okay. Um, and I do, I do feel that you're a healer and I feel like you're going through a period of healing for yourself. Um, you might even be, um, we'll have to look at some more cards. You might even be taking care of somebody else or responsible for somebody else's growth or something else's growth, right? Maybe it's your pets, your plants, or your people. Let's put this card into some context. Let's see what's going on with this Empress energy. Oh, beautiful. Six of cups, three of pentacles, nine of wands, yes. Seven of swords, okay. And a four of swords. Interesting. Over here we have ah, three. Okay. Seven, four, three, right? Three plus four is a seven. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. We got a five of pentacles. You've got your magician energy and another six, a six of wands. Very, very nice. Uh, this is some pretty, this is some pretty good energy. I, I think the swords cards um, need to be dealt with. There's some sort of communication going on or, or not going on even. Um, I feel that there might be somebody that's sort of interfering in your life right now. And we're going to see if we can get to the bottom of that. But first, let's select our mystery card, bonus card. Oh, almost lost them. This is our confirmation card from the Pamela Coleman Smith Tarot. And we are just going to set it down right here and put Bubo, our little owl friend, right on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end, but it will tie everything together and it will give us the confirmation that we need. Okay. If you have a prediction for that card, drop it down in the comments below. Let's do it together as a group exercise of intuition. All right. Now, Let's get to it. Let's take a look around the room. We have our two major arcana energies. There is the, of course, the Empress, which um, the Empress uh, denies nobody, right? Um, it's there for, it's kind of sharing your gift with everybody that there's no, you're not withholding any part of yourself in this situation. You are giving, 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 even if it is to your sort of own detriment, right? Uh, and what you're giving, I think, is that Six of Cups. You're giving the healing. You're, you're very generous. Uh, you have a great generosity of spirit. You're really giving this sense of, of healing, of joy. You're creating, you're creating really a wonderful world. I, I really feel that you are. And whatever, whatever kind of work you're doing or whatever your interaction with people is like, um, you're really creating... Um, you're making people feel good. And I don't know if that's because you work in the medical field or if you do actually like some sort of healing work, maybe massage therapy, maybe you're a doctor or a nurse, maybe you do uh, uh, crystal healing or Reiki or acupuncture, acupressure, I mean, all these different things, right? 
something like that, though. You're making other people feel very, very good. Um, the magician card here is sort of in the in the position of what we what we don't want, and it almost feels like this is um, if we ha if we take these two cards in context together as a partnership, right? It's kind of this is the creative card and this is the business card. This is the transaction, this is the commerce, and this is the art, and this is the healing, and this is the, the, the divine work itself, right? And so it's kind of like it's difficult for you to get into the business mindset because you're in such a, um, you know, this, this sort of healing or, or caregiving mindset. Okay, so it's almost like with these two cards, it's kind of saying you gotta start charging people for what you do, you know? That you should, you should turn it into a business in a way, yeah? Um, but I think it's difficult for you, but I think it's kind of like something that is just sort of you do for friends and maybe it's not exactly that kind of healing work. Maybe it's that you are, um, you're very good at, uh, at listening and, um, you know, helping people work through their problems. Maybe you're a tough type of counselor or a, you know, you're kind of a, um, like an amateur psychologist or something, you know, and people, I think really do come to you with their problems. And you, you do a very good job of helping people. And they sort of leave your presence feeling good. Whatever it is that you do, that's the vibe, right? And of course, the magician is saying, well, maybe we should consider how, how you are to benefit from this as well. Okay, so it's not necessarily about money or about commerce or, or anything like that or turning it into a business. Maybe it's a, a matter of figuring out how you can get the healing or the satisfaction or the benefits from uh, from your gift, right? That you're so freely, you know, providing for other people in your life. You know, I think that you have a way of, of helping others fix their problems, and that's even shown here with the Five of Pentacles in the position of the environment. But I feel like there is something in your life personally that that needs some clarification or needs some kind of work. Now we've got our two majors. We've got Fire here and Fire here. Uh, it almost feels like we're we're trying to get the fire back. We had this we had this health, this robust, vital energy here with the nine of wands. Maybe it's being a little bit depleted because you're you know you're giving your vital energy away in the work that you do. Okay, well maybe you're in business or something. You know maybe you're you, you're in data entry. I don't know, but you're putting so much of yourself into what you're doing that I think you're the the. The cost-benefit analysis seems like it's a little askew, if that makes sense, yeah? So I think we're trying to find the balance. We're trying to find that six of wands at the end. We've got um, a little bit of water here, which is, of course, the tranquility. It's the love. This is really the happiest, the happiest thing that you've ever done. Um, I feel like with the Empress and the six uh, of cups, though, that you really, you've been giving a lot of, um, a lot of good days to other people, you know, that the work you're doing seems like it's benefiting, it's benefiting everybody else a great deal. And really, you know, it's a matter of including yourself in that picture. Okay. Let's heal us. Let's, uh, let's, let's strive for the, the happiest day of our lives too. You know, so we got that water, but kind of crossing all this, slashing through it like Zorro, are all these swords. Okay, it's kind of like this stuff's on one side, this stuff's on the other side, and uh, right in between is, you know, this sort of diagonal line of the air blocking things. It's a communication, it's, um, it's the interactions with other people in a certain way. I feel like there's one person in particular that's I don't know if it feels like they're coming in between you and somebody else. No, maybe you are taking care of somebody. I don't know if you're taking care of kids or you're taking care of, um, there's a, there's an age gap. There's someone's older, someone's a lot younger. It's either you taking care of a parent or a grandparent, or maybe you're up here and you're taking care of a, you know, a, a child or a grandchild. But I feel like there's a third person that's coming and sort of putting a wedge between you and that other party. Yeah. That's what the Three of Swords is telling me right now. Um, so we got all those swords. And of course we have our Earth energy over here and our Earth energy over here. And it's sort of, um, again, it's uh, it, this fire is over here, this fire is over here. And um, there's just this wall, this um, stalemate almost. It feels like an impasse. 
it feels like there's a problem on the other side of something that you want to heal that you need to use your energy for but there it's being blocked by somebody else now maybe there's uh Maybe it's a co-parenting situation, or maybe it's a sibling or something like that, right? Also, there was a house with a lot of stairs. I don't know if that's your house or if that what that has to do with anything, but I think it's just a detail that comes in to confirm or validate some of the energy that we're in today, okay? Um, the three of pentacles down beneath the surface, you're not afraid of hard work. Um, I think that you know that you can you have this ability to see the potential in everything so it's like you can kind of see um well anything really i think people i think objects i think um situations you can really see like yeah it might be you know this might be an old rusted out car but it really i could see it 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 has the potential to be a thing of beauty right so i feel like you're in that kind of business of restoring things or healing things maybe you're healing old cars um maybe you're renovating houses maybe you're reupholstering furniture or or kind of upcycling things but you have this ability to see the potential in in everything you know and uh i think that you really you do experience a lot of joy by seeing things restored to health and beauty you know, in other words, um, when you're able to help somebody, it makes you feel good. When you're able to sort of take something that maybe you're going to throw away and you've sanded it and you've painted it and, oh, it's nice now. Right? And maybe that's the idea of do that and sell it. Whatever this talent or gift that you have, it can become a business. The Three of Pentacles is all about work. It's all about the work that you do, the efforts that you put into something course we got that magician it says maybe there can be an exchange here maybe it's uh, an exchange of goods and services maybe it's you providing a service and and getting compensated for it right maybe this is sort of a exchange of favors even in a way it's kind of like um, oh I don't know that you are you're giving good good advice or good counseling to people and they they tend to bring you something you know like it's just kind of you help somebody out and then they bring you a, a loaf of bread that they baked you know, that sort of thing. I know it sounds silly, but I feel that it's a way of you uh, receiving. And that's the Six of Cups, uh, allowing yourself to receive some sort of compensation for what you do. Allowing people to give you a gift. You know, it's kind of like, um, I'm trying to think of an example here. It's like somebody who is, who is doing, you know, very good work and they just, someone tries to tip them and they say, no, we're not allowed to take tips. You ever experience that? I don't know where they do it. Some restaurants or, I don't know, coffee shops or something, they say, we're not allowed to take a tip. Well, I mean, come on, you know? Um, and so that kind of feels like the thing where you're just, in a way, you're trying to work on accepting the, the gratitude, the gestures of gratitude from other people because you're really contributing something to the emotional well-being of other people, okay? Um, but it's interesting that with this sort of, with this thing that you're doing and this, the work that you're trying to do, again, um, that you're, you're bringing this kind of harmony and, and order, you're, you're helping to kind of restore the balance uh, emotionally, there's something blocking you from really moving forward in your life. Okay. With the nine of wands in the background here, there was a time of robustness, a time of strength. This was someone who is absolutely healed. This is someone who stands tall and is in the prime of their life and is just, just full of confidence and full of energy. And, and um, this is someone uh, really in good shape, you know, uh, very strong, very, very vital here. And I feel like I feel like you're trying to get back to this or it's kind of like we in your in your efforts to create this wonderful environment for everybody else I feel like you're depleting your resources whether that's physical energy vital energy emotional energy or money I feel like you're you're sort of spending a lot okay and it's really time to restore the balance there and to allow the situation to then take care of you. It's kind of like you've always been, you've always been the caregiver. And the, the obstacle for you is to, you know, allow these people that you've been caring for, allow them to take care of you a little bit, you know. 
Um, but now we're going to get to the part with the swords cars because we have this seven of swords up at the top and it is, I think, uh, somebody really interfering with your relationship right now. And I don't know if this is a relationship with a parent, if, it, if it's going up this way or if it's down with a child or something um, or, you know, a younger energy in your life. I feel like somebody is, um, there's either some kind of deception or lies or gossip or some kind of like different stories being told, but that's preventing you from having the really sort of good, happy, healthy relationship with someone. Um, and I don't know who this person is. There's a third party that seems to be sort of getting in the middle of it. Maybe, I don't think it's you and a romantic partner, though it, it could be. But I feel like it's something that's sort of dividing the family a little bit. See, there's people over here. There's this energy over here. There's this energy over here. And uh, it might be a split between you and, you know, you and your kid or, or you and your mom or, or um, you know, grandfather or whatever the energy is, right? But it's kind of a, it's a split. There's a rift, okay? And I think it has, um, it, it's taking its toll on you. And I think this is kind of the, this is the, the biggest obstacle for you, or this is the biggest focus for you, is um, sort of the, it almost feels, it feel, like I said before, it feels like an impasse. It feels like this is happening and you don't really know what to do. Here's the Four of Swords in the future position. In some ways, it kind of feels like it's just a stalemate. There's just, there's, you don't know how to move forward in this situation. You don't know what really to do about this, okay? And maybe this is it. Maybe looking forward, maybe this is really, this is just kind of the thing. Maybe there's nothing for you to really do. Maybe it's a matter of you maintaining your integrity, setting your boundaries, of not letting this other person uh, elicit a reaction from you. Sometimes the Four of Swords is about our sort of mental fortification. You know, that we, um, in the midst of all of this five energy, or, you know, a lot of activity. I mean, we got a lot of activity here, right? We've got a three, a three, a five, a seven, well, even the nine, right? And what we're really looking for is a six, or at least a four, but really the six. So it's the odd numbers, even numbers, right? Uh, with the odd numbers, there's a lot of activity going on. There's a lot of... Um, it feels like there's there's a lot of back and forth, or there was, or there's a lot of information swirling around. You know, the the odd numbers are the the processes, uh, they're the functions, they're the verbs, right? But what you're sort of looking for seems like the even numbers, right? The states of thing. You want a state of health. You want a state of thanksgiving. You want a state of of peace and calm and quiet. You want a state of of really. This is called is called truce. Okay. Um, you want there to be uh, just a stop in the fighting, and maybe this is, maybe this is saying that, um, you know, that you can't, you can't control what the other person or the other party is doing, but you can control what you're doing, and maybe this is a card that just says, just stop engaging, just stop fighting, stop responding to the messages, stop. Stop sending something back to them when they send something your way, you know? If it's, a, if it's a mean gesture, if it's a nasty text or something, just ignore it, right? This might even be the card, really, of blocking somebody else or um, really just not engaging in the, in the turmoil, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the Path of the Serpent, and um, as we do this, I would like to ask for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's totally free. Uh, and it really does support the channel, and I appreciate you. Okay, so um, the really what's blocking you from feeling like you've got this Six of Cups or this Six of Wands is this, this issue, okay? The Three of Swords is kind of telling me that there is that third party that's coming in between you and somebody else, and it's kind of like Spirit's way of saying, don't give any sort of time or space to this person. Don't give them... Uh, don't allow them to have um, any influence in the situation. And it, maybe it's like by them getting a response from you, it's sort of, it's, it's giving them more motivation to keep doing it. And it's sort of, um, it's giving them space where they can put that wedge in even further, you know, to kind of split things apart. Um, but this is, this is a difficult situation. And maybe it's a family thing. Okay. 
Um, uh, maybe there's one family member that is just kind of um, kind of uh, setting people against each other or coming in between. It's kind of, um, I don't know what this is exactly, but there is, it's like a third wheel is happening kind of. Um, but it's a third wheel that is kind of, um, it's breaking down and it's kind of slowing down the rest of the, the rest of the bicycle or I don't know, whatever it is. Um, it's an unwanted force that's involved here. Okay, that's getting in the way of, I think, your, your progress, your happiness, your joy, your healing, your pleasure. Uh, you know, and it, maybe this is a romantic situation, though again, I don't really feel that it is. But it feels kind of like somebody has kind of come back in and is just is stirring up stuff maybe from the past or if it's a sibling or if it's another family member that they're just um, they're just bringing all these issues up right now that really don't need to be brought up um, and it sort of feels like um, there's no reason for them to do this except to cause trouble okay and that's what we see in the environment here we see trouble We've got a five of pentacles. There's, we are in need. Things are just, uh, it's, they're just too messy right now. We need stability. We would at least like to go back to a four. Um, we're hoping that we can find a way, a strategy to get up here to the six and really have the union, but have the, have the accomplishment of having overcome whatever this rift is. Okay, or whoever is causing this rift, or maybe they already have, maybe it was sort of one event that now has caused some distance between you and a loved one. Okay. But Spirit is saying not to engage with that, <clears throat> with the culprit here, right, with the instigator of things. And you certainly don't want to be instigating uh, anything. But the Five of Pentacles... Um, it's again, it's one of these situations that are in need of restoration or of healing, you know. And so I feel like this is, um, this is where some of your sort of natural energy can apply. And I think that again, it's sort of the idea that you've been helping everybody else and healing everybody else and being there for everybody else. And now your life needs some of this healing and needs some of this energy too. And so it's, it's really important for you to accept that and, um, you know, maybe the idea here is, um, is to call upon these people that you have helped and, you know, allow them to be there to help you now. And maybe we're talking mostly a financial situation. Um, I do think there's, there's some slight financial issue going on. And I think maybe it's, it's just a matter of um, kind of the side. It feels like we got a couple of things going on in the reading today. One is this sort of this idea of all the effort that you're putting into other people and maybe you should take some compensation or turn it into a business or do something like that, right? Because I feel like that's going to help out your, your financial situation is obviously going to benefit from that too, okay? Um, but I feel that there's the emotional thing going on too that's kind of um, because of this third party person that has sort of put a, a, a rift or a, a wedge between you and a loved one that relationship needs healing okay now the magician this is the position that we don't we don't really want this is the card we don't really want or this is the obstacle and i think the obstacle is um the obstacle is in the one hand in the one case for you to sort of look at what you do as a business and i know it doesn't you don't want to i mean that's it's it's clear like this is not meant to be a business this isn't like something that you just decided one day oh i know how i'll make money i'll start doing whatever right this is sort of a this is your way of life this is this is your talent this is your gift uh this is something that you know is is freely given but the magician um the magician is the architect of reality okay so it feels like and of course mercury Hermes is the messenger. So I feel like um, this is really a message that's meant to find you. That's basically saying, um, you know, it's, it's time to take that next step in your life to really, to really move yourself into a state of love and joy and beauty and harmony and bliss and, and success 
right? That you, your life needs this, that you want this, that you deserve this. Okay. Um, but there is sort of that reluctance to it, or maybe because of this rift that's taking place in a, a particular relationship, maybe, maybe this is you and the families on the other side. I don't know, but maybe because of this, it kind of feels like there is, um, it, that's sort of a blockage to you even, you know, moving forward with your business, right? Because I mean, if you're over here and magicians over here, and there's this, there's this gulf between the two, right? So it's kind of like maybe you do want this, but maybe it feels like until this is, until this is solved, we're not going to be able to have this. Okay. Um, but I think the message is that you will. All right, six, six of wands at the end, victory. Not just victory for you alone. Okay. So by, uh, and maybe this is this is part of your reluctance too is that it feels like if you do focus on this as a business if you're trying to um, achieve this big win for yourself then it means you're kind of doing everybody else a disservice it's like you don't want to step on everybody else's shoulders you know to get to the top well this card is about victory it's about winning but it's kind of you bringing everybody over the finish line with you you know the success is not just for you alone so we think of it as if you're turning this into a business, well, then you get to reach more people and you get to continue doing it for longer and you restore your own strength and vital energy so that you can continue giving your gift. Okay. So really it's about perspective here, but I think spirit's saying that it's, it's time to heal whatever this rift is in your life, in your family and start focusing on progress and success and, um, you know, uh, um, uh, this, um, the harmony and the stability of your life. Okay. The sixes are all about, um, success, but these cards especially sort of represent the, like a family or a community or just a, a, a state of well-being, right? Financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, creatively. I think emotionally for sure, the emotional healing, emotional well-being, and um, the confidence that comes from that to allow you to think in terms of your, your progress, you know? I think this is very good. I think this is very, very good. Uh, let's look at the mystery card. Um, I don't know what we can expect here maybe some well we got a lot of the sixes here right um i either want another six of cups or i want a six of pentacles okay uh if you have a prediction put it down in the comments now spirit's saying not to let this other person dominate your thinking so maybe we're just so distracted by that this issue and this other person and what's going on there that we're kind of it's taking our focus away from what's really important to you. Okay. Well, let's see what we have here. Oh, the death card. Hey, this is your power card. The death card rules the sign of Scorpio. This is your super power card. And this card, I think, is telling me that really it's your time to shine. Okay. It's your time to really fulfill your destiny and become the best person that you can be. Become the best version of yourself that you have these gifts and talents, you have this amazing potential, don't squander it. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody else interfere with your potential. Okay? Don't give them any space in your, in your energy, in your soul. You know? um, and also I think this is talking about the slow and gradual progress of things. That we might... Um, we might need a reminder that our healing, our growth, our success, our future, our becoming the best version of ourselves is a slow and gradual process. Also, this card is about letting go of things to make room for the new things. Recycling of energy. So I think maybe it is that we've been distracted by this drama in our lives and it's taking away our focus. It's taking away some energy or some space in our minds that we need to apply toward the success of of, of your life, right? 
So this is about, you know, the recycling of energy. Letting go of things to make room for the new things and pulling our energy away from drama, nonsense, and applying it to what is really going to make a difference in your life. Yeah. And this message is meant to find you. Now we're going to do <coughs> we're going to do an extended reading. If you want to stick around, there's a link up top. There is one down below. New readings for Scorpio Wednesday and Saturday. Be sure to watch both readings. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It is totally free. It doesn't cost anything. Leave a comment and let me know where in the world you're watching from. I want you to know that you're the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. I thank you. I love you. And uh, we're all in this together.